Okay, so today I thought I'd talk about the ingredient DMAE in skincare products. I've been asked about it a lot, and uh, it's a very complicated ingredient and topic to talk about because um, we get research from two different things that kind of conflict with each other. So, um, to be honest, do your own research on it, read the research, and come to your own conclusion. I mean, just because I might think something's worth a try doesn't necessarily mean for you it might work better, so... It's always important. Just do your own research. Make up your own mind. Um, some research shows that DMAE as an ingredient will help tighten up and firm skin. There's not a whole ton of ingredients that use this. Uh, Paracone is one brand that tends to use it in a lot of their products because uh, of the research showing that it can help firm and tighten up skin, especially sagging skin, that can give skin a good firmness. A lot, there's not a ton of all ingredients that use it because it probably is kind of controversial. So why is a brand going to go out of their way to use some controversial ingredient that people are either going to be opposed or um, in favor of? Uh, but there are a few. The Stradia Rewind Serum contains, I think, 3% DMAE. So this is a good one, especially because it's fragrance-free, worth checking out. Um, so, well, some research, limited research, shows it can firm up skin, saggy skin, things like that. Other research uh, shows that it has the potential to kill uh, skin cells if you use it too often. Uh, a lot of, so it as like an actual ingredient, DMAE is technically classified as a buffer ingredient. The interesting thing is DMAE is also, like a lot of ingredients, is also a topical as well as an oral like prescription. Actually, it's used in a lot of cases for people with mental focus and brain function. Um, so it's considered to be a cholinergic medication, which is a category of pharmaceutical agents that act, in, of an, act on the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which is the primary neuro, neurotransmitter within the parasympathetic nervous system. So the parasympathetic nervous system is the one that's the one you don't even have to think of that just automatically kicks in like fight or flight. And they also say taking DMAE can help with mental focus and brain function. So to be honest, I'd really love to see more long-term um, in vivo on actual people studies on the safety and efficacy of this before I commit to using this in my skincare routine on a regular basis. Uh, another controversial ingredient um, would be epidermal growth factors. Some people, um, I found they really do work well, but we are being guinea pigs when we use them because there's not a lot of long-term research showing it's safe. There just isn't a lot of long-term research because they're so new. It's such a new research ingredient. Kind of the same thing with DMAE is uh, people have started to notice that maybe it's helpful with firming and sagging, although it hasn't been used in a lot of skincare products as like, a star ingredient um, otherwise it's been used as like a buffering ingredient um, so int interesting some people when they have started using one of these like the strata rewind some people have instantly noticed a benefit in the firming of sagging skin while other people have used uh, this ingredient for three four months didn't notice any difference whatsoever so I have a subscriber and friend uh, who used one of the Derma E uh, products with DMA and instantly noticed firming effects. Uh, I've used it off and on in some of these different products. I didn't notice anything instantly one way or the other. Um, so it's kind of interesting that some people notice benefit like that and some people will use it months without any difference. Although sometimes it be, depends on other factors too. Um, interestingly, uh, the Paul's Choice website calls this a controversial ingredient because uh, research shows conflicting results. They say it seems to offer an initial benefit that improves skin firmness, but the re these results are short-lived and tip eventually give way to destruction of the substances in the skin that help keep it firm, and DMAE may also have skin calming effects. So I'm going to link to the research below. Um, so the uh, studies on DMAE, which I would consider negative, basically state that the researchers found adding DMAE to the cultures of fibroblasts produced the effect known as vacuolization. It's often observed in cells after various types of damage um, as cells try to encapsulate and excrete foreign agents from, the, from their own damaged components. Hence, research 
concluded that the vacuolization induced by DMAE was suggestive of cell damage. They also observed that DMAE impaired the ability of fibroblasts to divide normal, notably the above adverse effects reversed after DMAE have been washed out of the culture following a short-term exposure. So it might not necessarily be that there's long-term damage, but they, this seems to suggest that it's not that great. Um, although some of the positive research uh, goes on to say that DMAE is safe and effective for use on wrinkles and for skin thickness. 3% DMAE facial gel applied daily for 16 weeks has been shown to be safe and effect, effect, efficacious, effect, effective, effect, efficacious, effective, I guess. <laughs> Uh, in the mitigation of forehead lines and periorbital fine lines and improving lip shape and fullness and overall the appearance of aging. And they also state that DMAE helped collagen fiber thickness and increased dermal thickness. Um, at this point, research shows in human studies that DMAE is safe to use up and through one year. I mean, so clearly we've got two studies that say something totally different than each other. One is saying... It's going to damage your cells. And the other one's saying it's going to help with fine lines and wrinkles, which is why you should check out the links, make up your own decisions on what you want. Uh, make Makeup Artist Choice, they have a couple DMAE products, a cleanser and a toner. The toner has tea tree oil in it. And both the Derma E products now have lavender oil in them. They used to have another DMAE product that didn't have fragrance, but now we've got these two. It's lavender oil or... The Stradia Rewind. I mean, I guess it might be worth trying to see which group you're in. If you're going to notice immediate benefits, it might be nice to know. Or if you're not going to notice anything, then what's the point of messing with it at all? Um, anyway, so we've, I mean, this is another thing where the studies may be done totally differently. And perhaps there's some ingredients that just don't work well for animals. I mean, I think they tested this on a rabbit. Uh, the application of 3% DMAE to the skin of a rabbit ear resulted in the thickening of epidermis in the so-called uh, pernuclear swelling, swelling around the area of the nucleus and epidermal cells. The effect was an indirect indication of vacuolization and cell damage. So, I don't know, make up your own mind. I mean, I guess you're going to be a little bit more prone to like the DMAE if you're somebody that notices it instantly affects the firmness. If you don't, what's yeah what's the point of messing with it so i don't know nothing's ever as easy as black and white anyway so anyway i'm interested in your guys's thoughts on this ingredient if you used it what your experience was good bad neither so uh definitely leave a comment love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow thank you so much bye guys